Good morning. It's the Wall Street Weekly Wrap-Up with your host, John Newquist. It is November 11th. Happy Veterans Day, 2023. Uh, a little lighter on the earnings, but a lot of our uh, stocks reported them, so we're going to cover them. And the uh, first one we're going to talk about is Uber because they came out first. Good numbers. You know, look at the little lit net profit. They get so much revenue, not a lot of lit profit, but bookings are up, trips are up, revenues are up 11%. We always remember 8% is the number we're watching. So they've got Uber Eats, and again, uh, Uber Freight is one I'm watching starting to grow up pretty fast uh, margins you know fairly tough but I think they're pulling away from Lyft I think they're gonna eventually see Lyft uh, go out or be bought by somebody else positive cash flow finally finally after bleeding cash forever Microsoft highest recorded closing price in its history Wow you know you could have bought Microsoft a lot cheaper last year but we'll talk about that. The indicators, two years notes up to 5% again, and that's high. Uh, crude oil's in the 70s. I'm still amazed. I mean, we've had 2 billion barrels cut, you know, 2 million barrels a day cut from Saudi Arabia, and uh, we're down below 80. Gold's uh, coming down from its uh, touch at 2,000. Uh, natural gas keeps on falling. We, I will predict it'll go down uh, by spring below $3. And, you know, this is the time when everybody uses natural gas, so it's going to be going down uh, probably a little it'll, it'll be in the threes for a while and then silver is down there but sugar is up 50 percent if you take a look at the sugar chart you know it's not uh, cheap to buy the sugar and uh, everything is you know not going to be good the averages uh, Nasdaq's still above 30 percent this year S&P's at 15 percent or about half but we got to look at the S&P return and I broke it out if we take the enormous eight, the big chunk of the stocks, I call it the AI8, but Netflix is really not an AI stock. You know, you look at the ones in the blue. This is in our portfolio. We had all of these in November of last year. All of them were in our portfolio last year. And this is the chunk of it. So when we talk, it's 31%. It's due to these eight stocks. We didn't have Netflix. And Apple, we already talked about not growing revenues, losing revenues each quarter, four in a row. But everybody else uh, out of the 492 left, 1%. So the difference is if you just equal weighted technology and communication services, you've been up a little bit. But if you had the big ones, these are it. And uh, we're holding it. The thing is, we know in 2024, if we go to November 2024, 12 months from now, it's not going to be these eight stocks. These are not going to run up high forever. You know, I do expect sometime in the 20s that these will be down for a couple years in a row but we're just going to stick through them you know again as long as the pictures are good for revenue that's the issue you raise revenue increase revenue make profits that's the stocks that we want of course under armor is one of our uh stocks that we keep because under armor you know goes up as a cyclical right now it's in the low cyclical range you can see it's way down here it's been flat here's our 200 day moving average getting down there now so uh, revenues fell uh, a little bit that's one of the few companies we put up with because it's a cyclical stock oil utilities clothing all these are cyclical they are going to go down and go in the cyclical manner so we figure you know probably by next uh, September it should be a lot better at seven dollars we should do a lot better of course energy holy smokes you know, September we're $95 a barrel, now we're down on 77 So guess who gets hit? Revenues drop 30%. ConocoPhillips, ExxonMobil. Again, the uptrend is still there. It's, it's at the bottom of the channel. I think it's a good time to buy energy because I think once China eventually gets started, India gets better, we're going to see the demand go up. And heaven forbid if that war ever ends in Ukraine and uh, Russia, then we definitely will have a run in uh, economy as they build Ukraine up. Our uh, REITs, you know, we have two of them. Uh, we have, uh, you know, WPC and EQR came out with earnings. And again, you know, we know it's bad. You know, it's interesting, increased revenue. That's the big thing we're looking for. We don't want a REITs that's going in there. But San Francisco and Seattle, going to be negative income. You know, you own property in there. The values are going down. People are not wanting to spend the money. There's been issues of crime and, you know, 
do the people need to be there five days a week and things like that. Merck is just like a lot of pharmaceutical companies. Only outliers are, you know, Nova Nordis and Lilly. We own Nova Nordis. I mean, it's just been downtrending. Uh, we're going to get to the point where we're going to probably add Pfizer. Pfizer is almost at a, you know, a 10-year low, and they've got a, you know, obesity drug too in uh, clinical trials, and I think it'll be good. I mean, the market's going to be huge. Right now, it's really just you know, Nova Nordis and Eli Lilly got approved for it. But Merck's, you know, I, I just look at it. it. It makes revenue. It does good. It pays a good dividend. We're going to be in there. It's a good pharmaceutical stock. There are a lot of bad pharmaceutical stocks. Biological, uh, you know, tech stocks, they are not good. Taiwan Semi, one of our AI companies that we were looking for. Remember, they're making the chips for, for not only NVIDIA, Intel, Qualcomm, Apple, everybody. I mean, they're coming up. Google's making chips. Meta's making chips. And guess who's getting to make a lot of them? Taiwan Semiconductor. So the revenues jumped, and here we are with a negative downtrend, and it broke out. I mean, this is a big deal because now you've got some confirmation that they're going to switch. And, you know, of course, it didn't hurt that NVIDIA is going to get uh, three chips over to China uh, that are not technically AI chips, but, you know, everybody's going to make them. I mean, we, you know, we don't have the monopoly on AI chips, and once it gets out, then we'll have to either compete or just, you know, watch other people take that share. Of course, uh, ARM's our AI holding also. Uh, combines in the Grace Hopper chip with NVIDIA. Fastest chip for AI right now. Uh, revenue's good. 27% increase in revenue. You know, they keep on looking at this number. I, I mean, I, I don't think, you know, people forget 8% is the number we're beating. It's beaten in by a far right. We're going to hold ARM. ARM will do better as people start to figure it out, but it's new. You know, the IPO dropped and... You know, we're waiting. We got a third of our position in ARM. We're going to probably add another third by the end of the year. You know, once it gets all this selling losses that are done. And again, uh, you know, we look at the areas. You know, if you look at the 2022 total return, whoa, look at this energy sector. Not too good. You know, I mean, a little bit better, but man, you know, some of these numbers, not good. The red meant it was a bad 2022, and energy just a little bit better. Who had good 2023? Well, obviously the NASDAQ 100, which is our eight stocks that we talked about. You know, what was it like the year before? Horrible. Horrible. You know? So, you know, yeah, you ride the energy stocks. Now it's down. You know, these stocks come up. You know, it's just almost like a mirror. You know, we go through it. Uh, will a pharmaceutical come up? Well, that's a thing that we're all going to look at. But we, you know, we did, uh, you know, buy Tesla again. We remember we saw it, bought it at 100. We sold it at 200. We bought it below 200, and we we're going to hold it for a while. Remember, this is before they had all these uh, charging station agreements, and uh, you know, he's got AI coming out for his Twitter or X or whatever you want to call it. Uh, is it going to be good? I, I, it might have a use. I wouldn't pay for it. I don't think. But other than that, let's stay warm. See you uh, next week, and have a good week.